In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how you get started with a trial subscription for Evidence for Learning. We'll take a look at how you set up your first device, we'll take a look at using the web console, and of course we'll also show you how to set up any additional devices you'd like to use. OK, so let's begin. We're going to set up our first device. Once you've downloaded the app from the App Store, the next thing you need to do is activate this device with your subscription. So tap Get Started, and then tap the Activate button next to Already Have a Subscription. And let's activate the subscription on this device using the first of our license codes that we've been given. And let's be mindful the license key is case sensitive, so you might need to double check some of the characters. And to check any confusing characters, for example an uppercase I and a lowercase L can sometimes look the same. Great, we've activated this device. So before we can start using evidence for learning, we need to add our system data, our learners and groups and frameworks and so on. And to do that, we need to switch this device into an administrator role. Tap settings in the top left. And then we're gonna tap cloud admin in the top right. And then we'll enter the cloud admin password that we've been issued with. Okay, now to switch the role for this device from educator to administrator, just tap the first option in the Cloud Admin menu. And you'll notice the app switching to black and white. And that's just a visual indicator really to remind you that this device is in admin mode. And later, we'll switch it back to educator role. So let's go back to the device admin menu. And under where it says system data, we can look at the learners, groups, frameworks, and so on that are on this device. So let's tap learners we can see there's no learners on this device and we'll look in groups and again there's no groups on this and if we look in frameworks we can see there's already some frameworks pre-installed on this device and if we can tap the add framework button in the top right we can add our own framework and you can follow the link to learn how to add frameworks you can also tap the magnifying glass to open up a more comprehensive list of frameworks that are available for you to use But for this trial, we just want to use EYFS and P-Scales, so I'm going to delete the other frameworks with a swipe gesture and then tap delete. Swipe and then tap delete. OK, let's look in date ranges. The app is preloaded with some date ranges that are actually relevant for us, so I'm going to leave those. Next, I'm going to look at the tags, and actually I don't want these tags, so I'm going to delete them. And lastly, I'm going to look at the comment templates and I'm going to leave that one in place. OK, so we're happy with the system data we've got on this device and we want to push it up to the cloud, making the data available for our other devices to access. And the way we do that is with a process called pairing. Typically, you only need to pair each device once. So let's look at how we pair this device with the cloud. We need to open the Cloud Admin menu and then type in our Cloud Admin password again. And this time, we're going to choose the second option, Pair this device. There are six steps to pairing a device. Each step looks at one of the data types and compares what's on the device with what's in the cloud. And so for each item on the device, we need to make sure there's a corresponding item in the cloud, either by creating a new or pairing with an existing. OK, step one is learners. We haven't added learners yet, so there's nothing to pair, so we can tap next. Same applies for the groups in step two. We do have frameworks, however, and we need to add these to the cloud. So tap the icon on the right hand side and then choose Create New Framework. And we'll do the same with our second framework. And then with the date ranges, we'll just choose to add those one at a time to the cloud. We don't have any tags in step five, 
so we can tap next. And lastly, the comment templates, well we can add that too. So we've paired our first device and in the process we've uploaded our frameworks, our date ranges and our comment templates to the cloud. These will all be accessible by the other devices. So let's switch this device back to educator role and then have a quick look in the system data for the cloud. We can see our frameworks, we can see our date ranges and we can see the comment templates. And now let's look at how we add learners and groups and for that we'll use the web console. So open a browser and navigate to https colon slash slash console.evidenceforlearning.net Log in using the credentials you've been given and you'll be taken to this, your home page. On the left hand side is the menu. In the top right you can change your password and log out and the main page has various charts and summary data about your subscription. This is a new subscription so that data is empty at the moment. If we tap the device manager in the menu we'll see the device that we've just set up. We can also click learners, groups, frameworks, tags, date ranges and comment templates. You'll see the data we added whilst pairing the device. But for now let's go to the learners so we can add our learners to the system. Tap import on the right hand side and then click the link for the blank Excel template. Open the template and you'll see the columns that we can import. So let's populate this with some sample data and you might be able to see that in column M I've added some group data. I want to set up these groups when I import these learners. So let's choose the file and click upload. Okay and on this screen we map the columns that it's found on our spreadsheet with the data fields that are stored in the database. And because I want to set up the groups as well it's important that I specify which column has the group names in. I can specify which field is the unique identifier and I can tell it how to behave if a match is found or if a match is not found. And on the next screen are the group names that it's found in the column that we specified. We can tell it to create a new group or just ignore the value. And when we're done we tap process and we're told four new groups have been added and 23 new learners have been added. We can take a look at the groups and we can see four groups have been added. Let's look at the group blue and we can see the six learners that we specified in our spreadsheet. If we go back to the learners screen and let's suppose we want to edit some of the data we've just imported we tick the boxes next to each record and then we can tap the edit button. This will open a live editing screen. We can edit the data directly in situ in the grid. And as you update each field, the changes are saved real time to the database. And another quick feature worth showing, if we want to find a learner called Nicola, we just type the word Nicola in the search and the grid gradually filters until we get the matching text. And the last thing to show for now is the export tool. So if we click export, you'll see it generates a new Excel file with all our current learners. So if ever you want to add new learners or update existing learners, it's always a good idea to start from the export. The great thing about that is it, it exports the cloud ID as well and that's the unique identifier in this database. So when we import the file, it'll know how to match existing learners rather than create duplicates.
Okay, so the last thing I want to do in the console right now is I want to add two tags. Tags are a really powerful way of searching and filtering for evidence. So we'll click tags in the menu and then click add on the right hand side and let's add a tag called moderation and then we'll add another tag called wow moment. Okay, so you can see managing your system data in the console is actually quite straightforward, but let's see how this looks in the device. So let's tap the settings and then tap learners. And if we tap add, we'll see our list of learners that we added using the console. We can tap which ones we want to add to this device and then tap save. But if you're using groups, there's actually an easy way to add learners. So let's delete these learners and we'll go to the groups. Now we want this device to be used in the green room. So we're going to add the green group. And by adding the green group, it's also downloaded all of the learners in the green group. So now let's take a look at the tags we added and let's add those to this device. So we've set up our first device and in doing so we've also created all the data we need in the cloud. And let's just change the colour of this app on this device to match the group name. So all our cloud data is in the cloud. Setting up additional devices is a much more straightforward task. So once we've downloaded the app we tap get started and then we tap activate a subscription and then we use one of the other license codes that we were given. So now we've activated this device, we just need to remove the preloaded data. We can remove the preloaded frameworks. We can remove the preloaded date ranges. The preloaded tags. And lastly, the comment template. So now this device is empty of data, we need to pair it with our cloud and then we can add our shared cloud data. And this time, we can just tap next on each step of the pairing process because there's no data on this device that needs pairing or adding to our cloud. So now this device is paired, we just need to add the data to it. So let's go back to the device admin menu we'll go into groups and we'll add the red group and as you'd expect this downloads all the learners from the red group to this device too. Next we'll download our frameworks, our date ranges, the tags and our comment template and we'll change the colour of the app on this device to match the group. And now this device is set up and ready to go. And just to recap what we've covered, we've set up our first device and in the process we've created and uploaded some data to our cloud. We've had a, an introduction to the console and we've also taken a look at setting up additional devices. Why not take a look at some of our other blogs and video tutorials to learn more about adding your own frameworks, capturing evidence, making assessments and sharing with parents. And as usual, we're always here to help.